Hello friends. How is everybody doing this fine Monday morning? I'm going to do my best to talk as loud as I can, but there are people sleeping in my house. That's all right. I am, I've been, okay, so let me just fill you guys in real quickly. Since the last time I uploaded, um, I thank you guys so much for all the well wishes when it comes to my knee injury. Thank you and the prayers. I appreciate it and I feel all of them, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Um, I did go have an, an MRI. Um, it it kind of all happened really quick. Um, I went in to see my doctor. Within two days, she had me on an MRI machine. Um, within 24 hours from being in that MRI, I was referred to a neurosurgeon for a knee surgery. So it looks like that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have a knee surgery. I, I have a double injury. Um, and so, yeah, I, I tore my meniscus off to the side of my knee and then I tore tendons, the hamstrings in the back of my knee as well. So it's considered a double injury. I've been dealing with a lot of pain. Um, unfortunately, I have a sensitivity. I'm sorry, I'm adjusting my ice pack here. Um, unfortunately, I have a sensitivity to narcotic medications, so I've steered clear of those. Um, but I'm having a hard time finding anything natural or over the counter that's actually helping me. I'm continuously applying ice, um, not heat because it hurts when I do the heat. It just causes it to start hurting. Um, I don't know. It's like it fires off the nerves or something. I'm not sure. But um, other than that, I've been trying to do some meditations. Um, and yeah, I, it's been it's been a rough road. So surgery, no way around it. It's the only way to fix this. And so that will be happening very, very soon. But you guys, I'm here to check on the energies around Sebastian's case. You guys, holy crap. I can't believe how much, see, I've been very wrapped up in, in my, my, my situation. So I haven't been paying that close of attention. I'm trying really hard to make sure I answer all my comments and I'm writing down everybody's information. Believe me, I have a whole notebook full. Um, I'm writing down everything, even theories, just, I'm, I jot it down, you know, it all matters to me. So, um, but the, the, there was a Nancy Grace interview that took place with the Proudfoots and are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. There was talk of, of hitting with belts. There was, uh, it, you guys, if you haven't seen the Nancy Grace interview with the Proudfoots, go watch it. It's very telling, very telling. I want to focus on Katie today because for the longest, I have wanted to give this woman the benefit of the doubt. For the longest, I wanted to empathize with her because feeling the energy of her husband, it's a very familiar energy to me. Um, only because I was in an abusive relationship in my past. So I feel like that is what that relationship is. Um, and I want to say like her main injury or her main energy, I've got injury on the brain, her main energy is that of defense okay remember I said in my last reading I feel like she's just very defensive just very very defensive okay well it isn't coming out of her mouth so much um it's in her energy so I was thinking okay she's just being defensive of this like maybe she's got Stockholm syndrome or some weird thing where she's like going along with his abuse or Sometimes women in the midst of a, of a situation like that will embrace it and, and just go into like survival mode and a lot of things are okay that normally shouldn't be, right? So I'm thinking that with it, there was um, something that came out about the flashlights um, being a garbage truck or something like that. Hmm, I don't know about that. Possibly. There was something about them replacing a mattress. Um, there's the restraining order that's going on between Chris and his ex. Um, she did an interview. You guys got to see that one. Everything she said about that man and all the things he's done to her and his family has done to her. Absolutely dead on for his energy. I feel so sorry for her. That poor woman. I would hate to have a child with that man. Oh my gosh. He stole their child. So his ex-wife was in the hospital because her older child was had had like a respiratory virus and had been admitted for it so of course she had to reach out to a family to help with the other children so she could be in the hospital with her child 
completely understandable. She left the baby, the child she shares with Chris, with Chris's family, and while she was in the hospital, they went and filed for emergency custody to steal her daughter from her while she was going through the, the, a health crisis of another child. That is dirty. Ooh, but ugh, it's, it's such ugly energy and it reminds me of an ugly energy that I dealt with in the past. My feelings about her innocence, my feelings about her non-involvement or her complacency are changing completely. I've witnessed these two blatantly lie. It rolls right off their mouth like nothing. They, it flows from them. They tell different versions of stories on different platforms. They come with different energy to different platforms. Some platforms they come with the very, like a haughty energy, like a, a just a, a condescending, like defensive, just sarcastic like energy I felt off of them, mainly Chris, but she's in it too. Or like the Nancy Grace, they came with a whole different energy. Okay. They came to Nancy Grace with this subdued, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. No, no. And Nancy Grace offered for to, to set it up so that Chris could take a lie detector test. So let's see if that happens. Also, it's been said that, okay, I, I'm not sure if this is a friend or a family member, somebody who knows Katie personally. It has been said that Katie would have no problem passing a lie detector test. No problem at all. Katie is, uh, she's got, holds some kind of a status in, in like, um, I think it's Jiu-Jitsu or some kind of martial arts, okay? I could be wrong on the type. I'm not real well versed on that, but she is, she holds some kind of a status with martial arts. I know somebody said it in my comments, so I don't remember exactly word for word, but that is, I'm, I am taking that into consideration. I, I'm telling you right now, the timeline is off. But I, I do have a bunch of questions, and most of them stem around her. Literally, most of my comments, the questions that are coming in now, most of them stem around her. So let's check it out, okay? Let's check out her energy. It's time. And I need the distraction. So we will go with the Seven Chakra Sage Smudge Sis. Today, I hope everybody had an amazing Easter weekend. I hope that everybody found a lot of eggs, ate a lot of chocolate, and enjoyed their Easter dinner with their families and friends. Passover weekend. Okay. Let's get this started. Let's get it started. Ha! Let's... No. <laughs> Okay, guys, calling in my angels and ancestors, protectors, guardians, helpers of the love and light, asking you to come in right now, please surround me with a veil of protection, surround my family, my home, my platform, anyone watching this video, and anybody I speak on. Please only allow in interaction with the high vibrational individuals, and I'm asking for a God connection. Please give me a connection to that God energy, and I'm asking my guides to come in right now. Please help me to correctly interpret the cards and help me to correctly interpret whatever it is you guys put into my head and we are uh, divinely we are safe we are divinely protected and so it is sorry it's it, <laughs> it was already starting to happen right there okay so uh there's a reason spirit keeps taking me back to this place you guys literally haven't even touched the cards or started the reading and there's that yard in my mind like bam there it is so I wish I knew I, and thank you so much for those of you who who uh, shared the address with me um, Sebastian's address I just don't feel a hit there somebody else sent me a um, another email that had a, an aerial picture of somebody's backyard that very very similar to what I had described I don't feel a hit there so I'm not sure what that place is oh I'm sorry I just kicked it I'm not sure what that place is why I'm, but I, it was, that's just what happened. So I get a flash, the yard, the shed, and for some reason the black tire, um, tire planter things always really stick out in that image when it pops in my head. So 
Not sure, but let's go ahead and start with the situations and see what the energy say. We are asking about Katie Proudfoot this morning. Katie Proudfoot, please asking if I can please tap the energy for Katie Proudfoot in this moment. Asking for a connection to the energy of Katie Proudfoot. You know what I feel in her energy is she's very tomboyish. Like she's not a girly girl at all. She's very, she tries to portray herself as this quiet, meek, little, polite thing. Oh my gosh. Well, crickets came out last time. Silence and non-action. I always feel like that's telling me the timeline is off. We've got Archangel Michael. That He's the angel for the children. Protection, preventing from harm, and divine intervention. That's coming in. Threatened, embarrassed, and appearances. I'm going to say right now, I feel like this this threatened right here, this was, this was something like this. This was something like this. I didn't marry your child. I married you. I can't handle... I, if I'm not allowed to discipline your child or I'm not allowed to have play a hand in the discipline, then it's probably not going to work out between us. You're, I'm going to leave and... Okay, there's, there's that. So I do feel... And, and it's been said. It has been said. So I know this has been said other than... And I'm just agreeing with it. This isn't an intuitive thing. It's just me agreeing with having heard this. And this card is... This card is emphasizing. There you go. There's the word. I'm sorry, guys. I just woke up. <laughs> I haven't even finished a cup of coffee of it. What I'm trying to say is this card is emphasizing a threat. And the threat that's coming to mind right now, two. Two threats. One was the threat of ending the marriage. That The threat of, you know, I can't handle this. I cannot handle this. The other one was the th is the threat of being caught, being having the truth come to light. Those are the two main threats, I think, that are being uh, pointed out here. And appearances is big for me as well. The The way that they appear to social media, the way that they appear on all these platforms, going, it, it's very threatening to them. They are making themselves look awful. They have from day one, though. Day one, I said I didn't think the parents were involved. I was wrong. I was wrong. Initially, I picked up on a desperate energy. I picked up on a scared energy. I picked up on a stressed out energy. All of the things that would be a, um, a mother whose child is missing. But I think even though those energies were there, those energies are being created by her for something other than what I had Thought. I thought, okay, I'm not, I don't think it's these parents. I really think that it was an outside influence. Okay, this is what I was saying at the first reading. That's changed. Um, because I still feel those energies I was picking up on, but now I've interpreted them differently in light of new knowledge, if that makes sense. I mean, don't we all? And the only other thing I wanted to mention was that, um, I did order a new camera system um, coming so that I can do like a split screen so you guys can see my face on one side and then see my table with my cards on the other side. That way you guys, because the way I have it set up here, I mean, I'm very limited on space in this little apartment. This is my living room. <clears throat> so my living room is my reading room. <laughs> you walk in my door and you come straight into this. So um, I'm very limited on space where I, where I can place my camera. So... <clears throat> I have ordered a new one. I figured, um, you know, if I'm going to do this, I might as well do it right. So let's go ahead and go into the cards, guys. Let's go into the cards. Okay. I'm asking for information regarding Katie Proudfoot to begin with. I would like some information on Katie Proud Proudfoot. Can I have some basic energy? Okay. I'm already being told that's the wrong one to start with. So we'll start with this one. This is the archetype deck. So we, I don't need to pull on the situations, out of the situations, on the situation to start with. Because we already know basically what the situation is. So let's just look, look first 
into Katie. What can I know about Katie Proudfoot? What can I know about her? The truth of her, the her she is from the inside. How can, what can I know about her? Her, her truth, nature. Oh, you're shitting me. Wow. Criminal. <laughs> Criminal. Transgressor of justice, prison, parole, and discipline. Courier. Messenger of connections. Delivery, information, transmission, and gift. Interesting. Messenger of connections. Delivery. This person is... Carrying all kinds of stuff. Taking, delivering something somewhere. Some. This is the archetype of someone who delivers something somewhere. So this came out in her energy. Interesting. Okay. We got educator, imparter, mentor, guide, and teacher. I feel like this was just her connection to probably all the people that helped with it. I don't know if she was she was a volunteer. I'm I'm feeling maybe she she volunteered at some point in the school, or unless she just was there with her son, as you know his helper his personal helper. But I just got a flash of like Sebastian in his classroom setting. So maybe she volunteered in the in his classroom. But educator. So if any of you out there know what that could mean, um, I don't know what she's done. I know that she's in school right now. She's taking. She's like taking DeVry classes or something like that. She's in school right now. That could be that. I'm not exactly sure what for. Um, but I know that she is in school. We got the Traveler. Seeker of Horizons. Adventurer experience and lo uh, long journey. Ooh, we got journalist, chronicles of stories, reporting, interview, inquiry. This is in her energy right now because this is what's happening. She's being, she's got journalists, which I'm sorry, creators can be considered that. Journalists are people who write stories, who, who interview and take stories, right? That's what's happening in their, her energy big time right now. Um, they're going on all these different platforms and they are creating a story and a lot of, and it has a lot of holes and it has a lot of inconsistencies. A lot. Okay. What more can we know about Katie? What more can we know about Katie Proudfoot, please? Katie Proudfoot. We got soldier. I don't know if she's got veterans in her family. It says guardian of nations, loyalty, honor, integrity, and selfless service. So I wonder if she's got some military in her family or if she has military affiliation of some sort. I'm going to stop with this one and we'll go into tarot and ask a little bit more about these. This card, swindler, master of deception, hypocrisy, disguise, and conspiracy. What? Holy cow. I can't wait to ask tarot about that one. Okay, I'm going to put these down. Eh, I'm go ahead and pull one or two out of the situations and then I'm, I'll pull a couple out of the cr uh, true crime. That was a terrible shuffle. <laughs> I'll pull a couple out of the true crime um, conspiracy deck too before I hit tarot. Okay. Gossip, petty, jealousy, envy. Okay. The jealousy, I, f I do feel that in her energy. I feel like maybe she suspected her husband was cheating on her. Maybe he was. And she was feeling it. I, mean, I, I do feel like she suspected infidelity. Absolutely. In fact, I think that that was one of the, my opinion only, could have been one of the motivating factors. We got today, present, now, and in the moment. This, it's an active case. Please excuse the... <sighs> The siren's going off in the energy. I'm sure you can hear it. I mean, the siren's going off in the background. I live very near a hospital. 
Okay, so this one I, I say today with the present now um, in the moment, I feel like this is referring to this case. Um, her energy is very much in that right now. Uh, let's get one more. One more for Katie Proudfoot, please. Plugged, tuned in, internet, and connected. That, for me, is the schooling. I could be wrong, but that's what pops into my mind right away. Okay, now let's check out the true crime conspiracy. And see if we can get anything out of it. And... I've had quite a few people come in my comments and tell me that they have this deck. Pretty cool. Actually, I had one person who was really rude about it. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, I know there's going to be good with the bad or bad with the good, but so far I'm, I've had an amazing experience. I've had very positive, loving, uplifting, supportive comments from all of you. You guys are amazing. I've had a couple of rude people. <clears throat> That's okay. That's okay. Nobody has to believe in me. I believe in me. And I appreciate those who do. So, why does this card come out every single time I pick up this deck? I don't feel like this is connected to this case. So, I don't know why this came out unless it's because I'm still sitting in the energy of the couple. I've got the Illuminati. You know what? I'm going to set that over there. I'll ask Tarot, but I don't feel that connected here. <clears throat> no, I don't feel an energetic connection to that card. <clears throat> What? I've never seen this card yet. Death hoax? Definitely asking Tarot about that one. Okay. And, oops. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna ask. Can I just get one more from this one for now? One more for now from the crime and conspiracy. Thank you, Spirit. Gaslighting. That's what they're doing on those panels. Absolutely, that they're going and talking on. That's funny that that came out. It's also funny that there's a um, porch light. It's looking like a porch light in the dark. Interesting to me. So, I don't know what this is, Death Row. I can see the gaslighting. <sighs> Wowzers. Okay, let's go into tarot. Which one am I going to start with? I'm going to start with a new one today, guys. This is this deck is new. It's old but new. I had the miniature version of this deck for years, and then, um, but it's just so ratted up and 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 used, which I love because I take it. It sits in my purse. I take it with me everywhere I go, and I I pull that sucker out and read everybody that'll let me. <laughs> so it's pretty ratted up. So I decided to get a full size deck of the steampunk tarot i love the steampunk tarot it's amazing all right so let's start asking a few questions about katie proudfoot and um uh, some of these energies that have come out on her okay with the criminal transgression of of justice is really sticking out to me so what I'm going to ask on that card is, very simply, is Katie obstructing justice? Is Katie obstructing justice when regarding her son? Is she in any way obstructing justice? Ace of Cups would be a yes, and the Wheel of Fortune would be a yes. That's a double yes, okay? Wheel of Fortune is a turn of events, um, changing, a switch up, a changing, okay? Which, But it's a big yes card. This is a change in luck. And then the Ace of Cups, Cups being emotions, this would be a yes. Bam! Right off the bat. There is an obstruction of justice being taken place with her. Thank you, Spirit. Let's see if we can find out what it is. What is the obstruction? What is the obstruction? <clears throat> what exactly is the obstruction, Spirit? Six of Cups? This is giving and receiving help. This is my, you scratch my back, I scratch yours. A story that's been concocted with help. That's the obstruction of justice. Thank you, spirit. Damn. Okay, let's go to the next one. Remember the courier, the delivery person? 
It's in her energy. So what exactly has Katie been delivering? What has Katie been delivering? Why the courier card? There must be something big going on outside, you guys. It's so funny. I had okay. Let me get this quite this answer first. Maybe it's not in this deck. What is Katie delivering? Did I just get one flip? No, I thought I felt one flip. Okay, what is Katie delivering, please? I might have to go to a different deck. All right, let's go to a different deck. That one's a no-go on this answer. Okay, so for me, what that might mean is that the answer's already been pulled out in another card on the table or that I'm not, it doesn't exist. In, the, the version of the answer I need does not exist in that deck. So what is Katie delivering? in reverse that's okay and I'm not going to take that last one um because I just I don't feel like that's connected so we've got the king of swords you know who that is right then we've got the six of wands in reverse sorry I am I'm sorry it's the nine of wands in reverse Nine of, and so nine of wands is boundaries, keeping and maintaining your boundaries. So if, if it's in reverse, then that means some boundaries were crossed. Career, crossing boundaries. He could have been taken out of state, across state lines, could be. Uh, and then we've got the three of wands. This is reun re reunions, uh, teamwork, commerce, um, travel. That's travel. What? So we've got to answer what she's delivering or how the courier card comes in. We literally, we got husband, travel, crossing boundaries, crossing lines, ca crossing boundaries. Dang, that was very good answers. Thank you, spirit. Wow. All right, I'm going to go back to the steampunk and ask about the educator. This educator, it says imparter, mentor, guide, or teacher. I don't, I'm not feeling school at all. Not at all. I'm feeling someone being coached, someone being taught something. I'm almost picking up on that in her energy is her being shown, taught, someone mentoring her. Someone saying, do it this way. This is how you do it. Only this way, do it this way. Like that, like, uh, like um, more like a mentor, uh, authoritative, weird, like energy. But I feel like it's connected to, to Chris somehow. Like viewing him as not just a husband, but as like this mentor or like this, um, this guide or this teacher. I'm also picking up on another male energy. That has just recently started happening that I'm picking up on another male energy. I've been looking all over trying to figure out who it is see, and seeing if other people are picking up on it. Um, but I'm definitely picking up on another male energy. It is not Seth's. It is not Chris's. And it, in a romantic way, I'm picking up on another energy. So if anybody out there has also picked up on that or if you understand why I'm picking up on that please let me know in the comments okay so for the educator what can I know about the educator card what can I know about the educator please seven of pentacles that's hard work that's patience it might be your school This is waiting for results. This is part, part patience. It's also delayed success, though. This is this could be like how waiting for the best. The best is yet to come. Type energy. Like this could be like I know this is going to be so much better for me. I just got to be patient in the moment. That's what that energy is. I'm not sure how it ties to educator.
but it is hard work. It's success. It is, I'm hearing paying off. It pays off. Something that pays off. Something pays off. Like, hard work pays off. Or, I don't know what that, something pays off. Persistence, hard work, pays off. I wonder if that's something she says. Maybe a saying or something she quips. I don't know. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's go to the Traveler. Because that one I really want to, I'm going to go to a different deck. Let's check out the Light Keepers. Okay. I want to know about this Traveler card. I want to know what is up with the Traveler card. Seeker of Horizons, Adventure, Experience, and Long Journey. What is this Traveler's card? What is the Traveler's card, please? Whew, we got Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is like that self-imposed imprisonment. I mean, we're asking about traveling. We're getting a self- Oh, I got it. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, the traveler would be Chris and the fact that he's always gone and they have, they're separated and then she feels like she's... Okay. She feels like she's kind of like in a, a prison because she's stuck in that house away from her husband and with with her son and trying to maintain a relationship with him a healthy good relationship with him while he's gone and I feel like she thinks he might be cheating on her but I feel like the traveler is Chris and the fact that he travels and he's gone a lot and it kind of imprisons her within herself like she she freezes up while he's gone she's she just kind of feels like everything comes to a pause and standstill until he comes back or until she talks to him or until they're together again and they can everything's normal again but I feel like the traveler with the imprisonment is referring to Chris the fact that Chris travels and is gone away from her a lot and I do feel like with the gossip and pet, the petty gossip and stuff on card I got, I do feel like that is her. I think she feels like he's possibly speaking to other women, seeing other women, that kind of thing. And I do feel like she, she probably keeps him on the phone as much as possible to prevent that or to assure herself that he's, as long as he's talking to me, he can't be with another woman, right? Like I think, I feel like she's excessively on the phone with him for that reason. Now she said it's because they have a long distance relationship. Yes, granted. But there's another reason why, too. It's because she's making sure he's not cheating on her. Is that correct, Spirit? Is that correct? Ooh. Okay. I had three come down, but I'm actually only going to take the first one that hit the table. And it is the Knight of Swords. That's that fast action. That's that traveler. That's that person that swoops in. Okay. What am I supposed to know about this one? Okay, so the Knight of Swords brings a lifestyle change. This is this individual is has brought a lifestyle change. Has brought a different type of a life to her. This individual. This is and it's like a fast talking person. This is that smooth talker, right? This is the the schmoozer. I think she may be worried that, that he's fast talking other women. I really do. I feel like that Usually. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go into the next card here. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> well, with... Okay, the next one is the gossip. Let me grab a different deck here. Okay, nope, that's not the right one either. Here we go. All right. This is the Light Seer's Tarot. I, I, anybody out there who reads tarot has this deck for sure. It's a go-to. Okay. Asking about the gossip, the petty jealousy, envy. Is this because she thought he may be cheating on her or talking to other women? <clears throat> I heard that he had like a dating app type thing. Oh, absolutely. The moon. The moon is secrets. That's exactly right. That's what that gossip is. The moon is secrets. She's afraid he's seeing other women behind her back. Is that possibly a motivating reason for her to um, 
remove her child from her life? Would that be a motivating or a motivating factor? Not in that deck. Let's do the she tarot. Need to know, is it a motivating factor for why Sebastian, my son has a cousin from, <clears throat> from his dad's side, whose name is Sebastian, uh, first cousin, and we call him Seb for short, like he, he's called Seb for short. All right, asking again. <clears throat> Okay, why are you why do, why do I keep seeing this place? Why do you guys keep showing me this place? Can you tell me is this the right deck? It's not the right deck. They just showed me that place again. I wonder if it's a family member. Okay, I'm going to go back to where I was with the, the gossip. Did, did Katie feel... <clears throat> How about this? Was Chris cheating on Katie? Was Chris cheating on Katie? Did Chris ever cheat on Katie? Was Chris cheating on Katie? Okay, I got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles being wishes come true. And I got the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is the most like lusty, free-spirited um, queen or woman in tarot. The Queen of Wands is that enticing, seductive, sexy, like, <gasps> I, just, I just lost the herring in my ear. Okay, that's a that's a confirm that's a spirit confirmation for me. Okay, wow. I don't know if that happens to any other sensitives out there where like when you hit on something that's correct, energetically correct. Um, do you ever get like a ringing or it sounds like the the volumes just turn down and then slowly turn back up? Does that happen to you for spirit confirmation? That happens to me. I just got spirit confirmation on that one. So I think there's been some infidelity, and she may know about it. And it may be why this happened. Okay. I'm going to ask again, but let me ask in a different deck. Okay. Is the reason why Sebastian's gone because Chris cheated and Katie needed to make changes so it doesn't happen again? Is that what happened? the moon. Secrets, lies, things being hidden, stuff done in the dark. That's a yes for me. I'm sorry. And we've got death hoax. On the card it says Route 66, you guys. There's a, there's a thing right here that says Route 66. Something about Elvis. He's somehow in on this. Looks like a washroom. A laundry room or a washroom, maybe. What is the death hoax card? Knight of Cups. This is flowing attraction. Knight of Cups would be Chris for, for her. I'm reading Katie's energy right now. Knight of Cups would definitely be Chris for Katie in, in tarot. That's the romantic. That's the proposer. A proposal. There was a proposal. There was a proposal. I'm hearing ultimatum. There was an ultimatum made by Chris. Did Chris tell her she had to give her son up? Did he tell her she had to give her son up to be with him? 
Absolutely. Absolutely. So, Queen of Coins would be her. Peaceful abundance, it says on it. Peaceful abundance. So, I'm wondering if she didn't just do this for that peaceful abundance. I mean, it would have brought peace within her marriage. It would have brought, given her the ability to not have to stay at home when he travels. Also, too, for whatever reason, and I'm not 100% sure, I'm still looking for the answer to why I feel this way. I, I'm sure it's out there. I feel like there was a, a legal reason why Chris, um, other than the fact that he's got another court case going on with his ex in New Mexico, I feel like there was some kind of a legal reason or another reason why Chris was away from the house so much. So I don't know if it's affiliated with CPS because I know that CPS was called on them for Chris hitting him with a belt. It might be that. That might be. Is that why Chris had to stay away so much was because of CPS? Yeah, King of, King of Coins. So we've got the Queen, Queen of Coins. Now we got the King of Coins. So that would be a yes for me. That's a yes. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to move on to the journalist. The journalist card. Chronicles of Stories. Chronicler, Chronicler of Stories. That's the first words. Stories. Making up stories. Chronicler. That's what she is coming out in her archetypal energy. So part of her personality is she makes up stories. At least in her energy today. Reporting. Interview, inquiry, promotion. For me, the promotion would be her promo a promotion within her marriage. Absolutely. Okay, what can we know about this? The Chronicle of Stories. Is this just basically pointing out that her story is a lie? Chronicler. She's the one who wrote. Did she make the plan? Did she just... Did she think up this whole story this whole plot was it her that did it she's the chronicler we got the magician there's that knight of swords hold up okay in tarot there's no the sex doesn't necessarily pertain to 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 there's no no really no sex in tarot although there is there's not okay so Always keep in the back of your mind that even though it's a knight, it could it actually be a female energy as well. This, I feel like this is her energy. Even though it is the knight energy, the knight of swords is a very ambitious person. They are ambitious. They have ambition. And they do, they are always kind of trying to better themselves or make their life better or create peace or happiness or something better. Um, however that is. And that's how that I feel that on her energy. So with the magician and that, it's like she was trying to manifest a better life. Okay. Then we've got this six of wands here. The six of wands is like a, a, a victory, success in doing that. Okay. And then we've got the world upside down. That would be th turning her world upside down within this, this energy here. So she turned her world upside down, even though she was successful in what she did is what that's saying she manifested what she considered a better life wow she was successful look at all of the do you see all the people around her do you see all the microphones how reminds me of all the interviewing and stuff doesn't it but threw a world upside down Okay, let's look up. <laughs> I don't even need to ask, but I'm going to. What is the Swindler card? What is the Swindler? That comes out in her energy. Master of Deception. Is this because we are being fed lies by her? Is this because we are being lied to? Is she deceiving everybody? Whoa. That's, there's no, High Priestess. The high priestess is the one who deceives everybody. 
the high priestess, secrets, deception. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's a huge yes. That's a big yes. Holy shit, yes. Okay. What? The next one we got is plugged. Tuned in, internet, and connected. Plugged. This is not the right one. I can feel it. Um, I'll go back. Okay, I, I just lost the hearing in my ear again. <clears throat> So I'm going to pay very close attention to whatever it is I pull next. What is plugged, tuned in, internet, and connected? What is plugged, tuned in, internet, and connected? Okay, that's... Might not be in this deck, huh? Oh, okay. I'm gonna try a different one. Okay, can you please explain? Can I get more information? What is the plugged in? Tuned in, internet plugged in, connected. What is this? What is this connection here? Wow, Seven of Cups, this is temptation. Uh, Seven of Cups on the card, it says grandiose temptation. But Seven of Cups is about having a lot of choices. I wonder if she was cheating. I wonder if she was talking to other people. Internet, connected, choices. Was Katie, was Katie being in, unfaithful? Was Katie unfaithful? Eight of Wands is the job card. Mastering your craft. That's what I'm hearing. Mastering your craft. Okay, was she cheating? Was she cheating? Ten of Wands. Heavy, heavy burdens. She was carrying some heavy, heavy burdens of some kind. What burdens? What, what burdens? Frictional conflict. This would be her marriage. That's it, you guys. That's it. That is what this is about. And then we got gaslighting. I don't even need to ask on that one. She, they're gaslighting all of us. Okay? They're gaslighting all of us. Everyone. I'm going to ask for an ending message from just an ending information. You know what? No, I'm not. First, I'm going to ask Spirit... Spirit, please tell me where Sebastian is. Spirit, please tell me where Sebastian is. Right now, in this here and now moment, where is Sebastian's vessel? Where is Sebastian's vessel? I'm going to go get my map deck. I just saw it in my head. Okay, hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, I grabbed my map deck. Sometimes this, actually I grabbed two different decks to help me with a location. I grabbed the Enchanted Map. This is by Colette Baron reed And then I grabbed the Sacred Destiny. And this is by Denise Lynn. So, please give me a physical location for Sebastian's Vessel, please. I'm looking for a physical location for Sebastian's Vessel. Physical location of Sebastian's vessel. Okay. I just need one card, maybe two, but can I get a physical location for Sebastian's? Has anybody out there heard anyone else? Dang! Okay, so I got Moonlight. We're getting Moon a lot. We're getting the Moon a lot. Hey guys, so I'm right in the middle of editing this video and I was watching watching back to see if anything else comes to me. This is how I do it when I edit. I, I watch back and I see if I get anything else and then I add it on top in words. So I was watching as I was editing and I came to the part where I pulled the moon card and for some reason I felt like I needed to pull the book out and read. It's significant enough that I stopped the video to add this in. Okay. 
It says, Moonlight beckons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second-guessing yourself, for your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch, a tingling, a clear sound, or an animal or object crossing your path. Spirit is sending you messages to help you now. Success is yours if you follow the signs. Spirit keeps showing me this place, you guys. That's been, that was my first hunch. The first thing I saw was this place. Spirit keeps showing me this place. It's significant. It means something. It matters. I just wanted to add that. All right, I'll let you go back to the video. I'm feeling like he may be out in the open. Moon. Moon. So the moon is water as well. The moon goes for water as well. So I'm wondering maybe he's in water. Um, and I have thought that before, and, but I'm not sure. So um, the moon. Is there anything else in the map deck I can know about location, physical location for Sebastian? Please. Is there any more in this deck I can know about a physical location for... I'm just going to split it. Okay. Oop, there we go. Are you shitting me? Come together? Do you see what's on the top? It's a freaking stork. On a heart? Come together? Spark. So I got two here, okay? I got one that says spark and come together. Spark reminds me of a campfire. A spark. Come together. Isn't that what they're doing right now? On vacation while her son is missing. Her special needs son is missing and she went on vacation. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm going to actually read those two cards out of the book because there may be more info in there that I need to know. Let's look at the first one, which is come together, and it's card number eight. Eight is that hard work, um, diligence. Eight is also stands for infinity or eternity. Okay, let's see what it says. Come together. Love needs to be shared. Love needs to be expressed. Drawing the come together card is, is a sign that you're on the path to discover this, the nature of this emotion and it's in all its forms of expression, romantic, familial, unconditional, spiritual. In each instance, there is another being involved. Love involves a give and take. Between, I've been getting that giving and receiving help a lot. Love involves a give and take between you and a significant other, a re relative, a friend, an animal, and or spirit. This card assures you that you... This card assures you that love has come calling and seeks a partner in its dance. Know that you are cherished like a magnet you're attracting love into your life. This is the time for harmonious, caring partnerships. Wow. The other one, oh man, I feel like she did this for her husband. She did something for her husband to save her marriage. Card number 34, Spark. Let's see what this one says. Dang, I almost turned right to it. One page off. You are a clear... You are a... Okay, so 34, Spark. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. What? There's a spark of creativity in you, and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. That For me, that the, the spark of creativity, that is creating a new life. A different life, a different relationship with her husband. I'm feeling that. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating this. For me, what I'm hearing out of that is co-creation and a new start. Which, when you have a special needs child missing, those are not 
good things. Okay, let's look at what we can see in the Sacred Destiny. This is almost an hour long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. I have been praying for this kiddo. What can I know? What's the last thing I can know about the location? The possible location of, no, not the possible. I need to know where Sebastian is. Please show me in the cards, where is Sebastian Rogers? Please show me in the cards. I'm, I'm witnessing his face. I'm seeing his face. I'm seeing his smile. Where is his body? Where is Sebastian's body? Where is Sebastian's body? Okay, we got change. I'm not sure what that, intuitively I don't feel anything right away. So I'll go in here and read it. Um, change is page nine. So I don't know. Where did it go? Okay. Dancing clouds, it says. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Throughout time, people have looked to the heavens for signs, and in the ever-changing movement of the clouds, they have seen shapes and forms that seem to be direct messages from the Creator. Clouds are shapeshifters. Their essence is the same, but they can change from mist to rain to ice to snow to water. The transient nature of clouds leads the understanding that life is transitory and ever changing. She wanted big change. This woman wanted big change. I feel like she suspected or may have even been right about it that her husband was being um, unfaithful. She may have been being unfaithful as a matter of fact. They may have both been doing that. For her, I feel like if she was actually trying to be unfaithful, it's almost like she's like trying to find like a, a backup. Like, um, oh well, if this falls apart, like it's, like, it's almost like she was trying to find someone she could keep on the back burner. I've, I've picked up on that with her in the last couple of reads. It's something new that's come out in her energy. Kind of like, um, she has this energy of like survival mode, right? Like that's, which I was attributing to the fact that she has an abusive husband. But at this point, I'm changing my feelings about her. I still feel, I still feel like I'm connected to all those things I felt about her. But I'm interpreting them differently. Or I'm just interpreting more to it. There's more to it. It's not just simply sticking up for her husband. It's more like, um, she's a narcissist too. Okay. She's definitely a narcissist too. I feel like this causes a lot of, uh, trouble. Okay. Where's that? I think this causes a lot of this within them, but I do feel like she is the more submissive one in the relationship. Um, did Katie do something to Sebastian? Did Katie hurt Sebastian? Wow. There's that nine of wands again. The nine of wands. This is boundaries. Keeping and maintaining boundaries. Boundaries were crossed. Did Katie hurt Sebastian? Boundaries were crossed. In the least. At the very, at the very least. Oh, there's Sebastian. The page of wands. That's the young man. Dang you guys. Did Katie hurt Sebastian? Did Katie hurt Sebastian? Five of Pentacles is being left out in the cold. Tossed out. Discarded. Feeling like you're just garbage and you're being thrown away. Left out in the cold. Damn. Okay. Okay. One more. One more. Where is Sebastian's body? 
Where is Sebastian's body, please? Where is Sebastian? Is it in this yard that you keep showing me? Where is Sebastian's body? Oh, just one flipped open. Nine of Cups is wishes come true. But it's showing a bar. A bar. What does that say on top? Best ales, wines, spirits. It's the only card I have with the word spirit written on it. Can I please know where Sebastian's physical vessel is? His physical vessel. Where, where has his physical vessel been left? Where was it thrown out into the cold at? I got four of wands. This is family. This is family. Reunion, celebrations, that's family. Homecoming. I wonder if he's out there at, at Chris's parents. Is Sebastian anywhere near Chris's parents or Chris's family? The Empress is mom. That's, that's mom. That's mother. Is he by mother's family? Or is it just funny how the Knight of Cups is a, a female in this? The Knight of Cups is the proposer. I got the Knight of Cups earlier, proposer, remember? She, I think this was her idea. I think it, she planned it. She orchestrated it. This was her idea. Am I right? Am, is that correct, Spirit? Everything I say in this video is for research, educational purposes only. Everyone is innocent until proven guilty. Please use your own discernment and discretion and intuition to form your own beliefs. Um, everything I say comes from my personal intuition, my own interpretation of my cards. Any kind of factual stuff I share comes from the public domain. Okay, I'm not going to get an answer out of that one. I'm going to ask this one. Actually, I'm going to ask the sacred chi. What did Katie do to Sebastian? What did Katie do to Sebastian? I really don't like this deck. I'm trying to like it, but something about the cardstock. It like, look, they won't come down. <clears throat> so it's, oh, there we go. We got one. Holy shit. This is the world. This would be the world the um the world and to end. so this deck they're all kind of said differently it's kind of created differently but in traditional tarot this would be the world and it was in reverse <gasps> no 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 i just saw hold on a second what in the world what happened to the dogs what happened to Sebastian's dogs? I am a dog person. I love my dog. My dog is my child. We've got the five of pentacles again. This is being left out in the cold. So now I'm being told that there, that, where'd my, where'd the last one go? So now we're being told not only was, was Sebastian left out in the cold. Anyways, earlier I had pulled the five of of pentacles not very long ago just a little bit ago that is about feeling like you're left out in the cold or being left out in the cold which so no now we got the left out in the cold what happened to sebastian he was left out in the cold what happened to sebastian's dog he was left out in the cold what was it was his dog killed was his dog oh my god we got the magician and the world. The magician is manifesting things, making things happen, bringing your thoughts and desires into reality. And then with the world, that's travel, that's, that's expansion, that's commerce, that's travel.
And we've got all, all four elements here, earth, air, fire, and water. Let me ask one more question. Is, is Sebastian's body in water? Is Sebastian's body in water? Has he been put into the water, some water, a body of water at all? Okay, I'm not going to get it out of that deck. Is Sebastian's body in water? Is Sebastian's body inside of a body of water? Wow. You guys. So, I got the moon again. This is secrets. Things that are done in the dark. Things that are being hidden. Lies. Secrets. Untruths. Deceptions. And then I got justice in reverse. With a little kid on the skateboard in reverse. Holy cow, this this case is a total mess. What a mess. I it's turning into a shit show. It is. And I don't want to actually be part of that. I actually want to find him. I actually want to get the inner the information. Um yeah, see, I'm not a monetized channel. I don't ask for money or donations. I don't even ask you to like my videos. Have you noticed? I thank you when you do, and I appreciate every one of you for your comments and your likes very, very much. Uh, but I'm not here for personal gain in any way, shape, or form. I want to find this kiddo. And I thank every one of you out there who supports me in that. I think that there are some out there who feel as passionately about it as I do, and I'm grateful.